Hi to those of you who are new to my videos. I am Mark Stewart Greenstein. I am a Democrat and likable. Even many conservatives like me. I am pro-worker, pro-civil rights, pro-environment, pro-education, and pro-quality of life. I want to make people's home lives, work lives, civic lives easier, more enjoyable. And that was a goal for Democrats when I grew up. But the Democrat leadership of late has not adhered to any of these very well. Our Democrat leaders at the federal level and to some extent at the state level have restricted our work lives, restricted our social lives, put immense burdens on us, and have not enforced laws that would help the neediest of people, people who are victims of domestic violence, victims of crime, at the short end of the health care um, conglomerate. Instead, Democrat leaders, they have given in to big pharma, Wall Street, hedge funds, big media, these are not the groups that I and most of you grew up with as being ones that Democrats are meant to be that friendly towards. I'm friendly towards individuals, especially in Connecticut. Quality of life, except for its governance, is very good here. Our governance has let people down. Of late, free speech is on the way, thanks to, again, big media, and not necessarily in governance, but big Democrat donors who want to control what our leaders are doing. Let me especially talk about pro-worker. The Democrat leaders traditionally have been very good for private and public sector unions, okay? You gotta applaud the raises, the benefits that in the 70s, 80s, 90s, they got for you in Connecticut. It certainly has raised the standard of living and the standard of retirements for state workers. But do you really want a retirement where you are restricted, where your kids and your grandkids don't have anywhere near the kind of education that you had, don't have the same kind of job opportunities, have incredible debt, and these have been really at the behest of, in the last 20 years of Democrat leaders. There's a time to shuck those leaders or at least give them the proper prodding to get them back from their wayward protection of far left ideas. That is why I am an independent. I am still a D, but I am running for conservative values that Democrats traditionally had, okay? The gulf between Democrat and Republican when I was growing up was not that big, okay? Now it's gotten wider and wider and wider, and I'll give you an especially searing one, crime. Democrats do not enforce laws and people become victimized because of it. We've had an increase in almost every city in crime, and except for the city I am in right now, New Britain, which is run by Republicans, Democrats run Connecticut cities, and they're not enforcing laws. They're not enforcing against juveniles who do adult crimes. They're not keeping predators away from past victims. They are subjecting kids to drug dealings when they could be busted. The other thing, speaking of kids, is the absolutely wayward tolerance of education that is not American, okay? You didn't grow up to have your school teachers telling falsities, falsities that now are actually harmful. You didn't grow up being exposed to the falsity that, are, that there are 15 sexes, and oh, you could just change one with a little bit of surgery and kids are following this. We can put a stop to this. You need to prod your leaders to do that or else vote elsewhere. I am the founder of 
a third party. You don't have to vote Republican, but you can and should prod both Republicans and Democrats to do the right thing. The right thing is, in my mind, an old-fashioned Connecticut. In the 70s and 80s and even the 90s, we were run well. We were not subject to such high taxes and even more restrictions that have cropped up of late. We also had, by almost every ranking, the number one or two quality of life in national polls, okay? We're at best 10th now. People are leaving for very good reason, because despite their usual love for Connecticut, they find better opportunities, better retirements in the South. Well, I would like to get some of the governance of the South, which is still more moderate, back up here to what we had in the days of El Grasso and what we had for quality of life in the days where we actually had a, a hockey team here, which I'm pledged to help bring back. We can do better. Please recognize that as good as some Democrat leaders did for you in the past, if they're squelching your quality of life and they're squelching your kids' and grandkids' quality of education and life, if they're making your jobs harder, make their job harder now too. Make sure that they are more responsive or out. AAFvoter.org is our site. I'm also affiliated with the Epic Party, and you can find more on me personally at stewartforliberty.com.